church, damn it. Okay. But it's recording. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kent Gunn, and this trick is called by other magicians the cups and balls. I call it the cups and balls. The fun well, actually, shop. I call it the fun shop cups and balls because it was at a little magic store in Ogden, Utah, oddly enough, called the fun shop where I learned how to do this trick and I performed it behind the counter. So if you had walked into the fun shop about, oh, I don't know, 35 years ago, um, you'd have seen something just like this. Hi, folks. My name's Kent, and this is, without a doubt, the best trick in the store, folks. This is the Fun Shop Cups and Balls. What I like you nice folks to remember is I started off with three empty cups. I put the red ball here, the white ball here, and on the end... For those of you who are not heavily medicated, I think you should realize that's where the little blue ball goes. No sneaky stuff yet, but the minute I bust out my fun shop, magic wand, that's when you'll know that the magic is going to happen. Now, I know that that goes by awfully quickly. I would apologize, but, you know, I just don't feel bad about it, folks. I don't. So, to review, the white ball was in the center and I placed red and blue actually under those cups. They vanished somehow, I'm not even sure myself, with the help of, wow, the magic wand. Can't be, can it? Yowza! It's the fun shop, cups and balls. It is a great trick, darn it. Now, this costs like 30 bucks, but we have a junior version of this exact same trick, folks. So for like 20 bucks, we'll sell you a red ball, one cup, a white ball, its cup. You don't get the fun shop magic wand, and you don't get the third ball. But you can still do what I like to think are some pretty darn amazing magic effects with just two cups and just two balls. We even let you pick the colors. If you don't like red, Folks, leave the little red ball here at the shop, okay? Take the blue one home with you, and you'll be able to do this trick with your economy set of Fun Shop Cups and Balls. Please watch. All I do is cover the ball, and we both know that thing can't vanish, because if it could, you would just have to buy the Fun Shop Cups and Balls, wouldn't you? You'd have to. If you had the ability to take the blue ball, put it completely away in your pocket, no sneaking stuff back out. None of that, that sleazy stuff for us here at the Fun Shop. One ball's there, white. A tap. And for what I think is the third time in a row, we get all three balls to reappear in the center of the cup. And on good days, they stay on top of the cup. And today is apparently not a great day. But it's okay. This, folks, is, in my mind, the finest trick in magic. I have been doing it for a very long time. I hope you'd enjoy the performance. However, if you're not convinced that you need to take this home right now to spend 30 bucks on it, for you guys I will throw in something a little extra. It's this set of Fun Shop Juggling Balls. Folks, thanks for coming into the shop today. My name's Kent, and this is the Fun Shop Cups and Balls.